from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. taking on the Minnesota Vikings. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. The scene from a few moments ago, this crowd enthusiastically cheering on their Texans as they emerge from the locker room. And we're just about ready for football as the Texans get set to match up with the Minnesota Vikings. Again, everyone, with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook, and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The ball carrier. The numbers a week ago for Cook, just downright unbelievable. I mean, when you amass that many yards, I don't know what else to say. Personally, I thought it was a game for the ages for him. Ripped off some long runs in that contest, didn't he? He did indeed. Some very long runs in that total. Scary. And that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. Yeah, I think so, because then you turn And a big 32-yard play on third. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll lose a yard there, and it's 2nd and 11. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's 2nd and 11. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Texans 17. Pretty good running there, 9 yards. Sets up a 3rd and 1. Brings up 3rd down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Delvin Cook, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Vikings have taken a first quarter lead. And I... After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. to throw now in his own end zone. He'll rifle this one deep right. They got his man complete. And he will finally be taken down up at the 48. It's a big one there for the Vikings. 47 yards. Now they took a real chance there, throwing deep from their own end zone. Yeah, just think about it this way. If you take that shot, which they just did, you're giving those pass rushers an extra chance to get you. Your escape hatch behind you is gone because the end line is there. Yet at the same time, they took the gamble, and boy, did it pay off. 
The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. On the ground, it's Cook. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally brought down at the 38. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. All right, the offense back out there now. Let's see what they can put together. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Let's it fly for Thielen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. On second down, Cook. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front, and it may be a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. Give them 18 there and give the Vikings a first down. And it's pretty evident when you watch how Minnesota plays, just how important Dalvin Cook is to their offense. A thousand yard rusher a year before, the first one the Vikings had since Adrian Peterson was dominating their carries. And having Cook in the lineup for the bulk of the season, that made Minnesota exactly what their head coach Mike Zimmer wanted them to be. A much more physical team that complemented their defense. Brings up second and 10. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him. Ran a screen. And they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Adam Thielen with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more so now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. Let's it fly for Thielen. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll be down deep into Houston territory. A big play there for Minnesota. 68 yards. The defense, they weren't fooled on that post route. They just couldn't make the play. And the offense definitely tried to fool them because you saw the other route combinations, didn't you? Anything that they were running trying to draw attention away from the deep part of the field, but still had it covered, yet they were able to come up with a nice play. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now a run with Cook. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and five. At the a tenth carry in the game for Cook. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. He was brought down at the four-yard line. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. For Justin Jefferson. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. A 21-yard attempt. Bailey's kick is good. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24-3.
So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They start the drive with Cook. Cook able to escape. He's got daylight. 20. Touchdown, Vikings. Delvin Cook with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The Vikings first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. This is caught, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Tajay Sharp in the final seconds of the first half. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Starting the third quarter with Cook. And some room to roam now. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. On the carry, it's Cook. And shedding the tackle, and now some room. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. First down, here's the run with Cook. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Behind the sticks here with a second and 15. The play fake. He'll look to throw. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes, when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, and this score will stay right where it is. Texans 13. So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Tackle made. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On the pickup. Second and six. Again, it's Cook. 
And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Tackle made by Whitney Merciless. That's a really nice play, being able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got, to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. He was looking for Adam Thielen there, and it's third down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. On third down, he'll drop to throw, and he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Now following the field goal, what can this offense do? We're about to find out. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. Another miss. Still on his feet. And he'll be down deep into Houston territory. It's a big one there for the Vikings. 43 yards. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up. And they are shredding them in this ballgame. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Cook. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. Minnesota. A five-yard touchdown catch. And this Viking offense is running away with this one. There was a lot of zip on ball will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. 16 yards, a first down. I love the durability of Kyle Rudolph. He hasn't missed a game for the Vikings since 2014. Always on the field, always contributing. They keep calling him a dependable target. He can be that and more. And remember, in the overtime win against New Orleans in the playoffs last year, who caught the game-winning touchdown? That guy right there, Kyle Rudolph. just shy of midfield. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 16. They run it again with Cook. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Texans 44. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 44-yard line. Now Cook. 
And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And he finds his target. It's sharp. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Yeah, he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard at the 22-yard line. Looking to throw. That is caught inside the five. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Alexander Madison, his first touchdown on the year. And the Vikings offense continues to pour it on. Well, they just continue to roll it. We are in the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. Hey, 4 one Mike, 4 one Mike. They'll come out throwing here on first down. That's going to be caught. And the Vikings are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. They'll try to run with Madison. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Touchdown. Alexander Madison with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. As his guys continue. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. And he's got it passed. That's the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Vikings! Alexander Madison, 68 yards. And this offense is running away with this one. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped him. Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Madison. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now. And here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Here's Madison running on first down. Into the secondary again. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, 
They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They threw an opening, and there he goes. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Touchdown. Alexander Madison. 47 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two and it brings up second down. The ball carrier. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. They'll try to get it on the ground with Madison. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. his blockers to get this up over the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to come back to you. Try and run some clock here as he the ground. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First down, Minnesota. Going on the ground with Madison. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 10 yards, and it's good for a Viking first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They'll run it with Madison. And bulldozing for multiple tackles. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 31 yards there and a first down. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Here's Madison. And now running right through him. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. Second and goal from the six this time. Bandit. Bandit. 
They'll run with Madison. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. They've had some success here in overtime with this opening drive running the football. Right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there and available to them. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball.